Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily subnet an IPv6 prefix. So let's get started. Before we begin, I'm going to start with a quick recap on the basics of IPv6 addressing. So remember, an IPv6 address is 128 bits, hexadecimal, and base 16. Each of the positions in the address is 4 bits. So for example, the 2, the 0, uh, the 0 again, and the 1. Each of these positions is 4 bits. So it means that each of these groups separated by the colon is 16 bits so basically four times four and 16 times how many groups do we have if you count you'll see that we have eight groups so 16 times 8 gives us the 128 bits since each position is four bits it means that we can have up to 16 values so this is the zero down here so zero two nine zero one two three up to nine and then in place of 10 we have a 11 is B, 12 is C, D is 13, E is 14, F is 15. So take note of this table as it's important in how we can quickly subnet an IPv6 prefix. I've done a video on how to convert from binary to hexadecimal and you can check it out here. So armed with this information, let's go ahead and begin our subnetting with two scenarios. And before I start, if you find this video informative, don't hesitate to leave a like, also comment down below and subscribe. So let's go ahead and do the subnetting using this example. So my prefix is 2001db8 colon colon slash 32. In the first scenario, we want to subnet this into 16 subnets. So the first question is for us to get 16 subnets, how many bits do we need? So we need 4 bits. Because 2 to the power of 4 gives us 16. Since our parent prefix is a slash 32, it means that we're going to end up with the resulting prefix. Or basically the subnets are going to be slash 36, right? Which is just 32 plus the 4 bits. Which gives us the slash 36s. How do we identify this slash 36s or in other words what are the increments for these subnets of course the first slash 36 is going to be the zero the all zeros so anytime you do subnetting your first subnet is always the all zeros okay so i have the db8 colon zero 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 colon colon slash 36 so what about the second one what's it going to be so this is why i told you to remember the range of digits that you can get in each of the four bits and remember each of these four bits we can call this uh, a nibble right or hexit in our case since we're using one of these positions over here this is the four bits that we are incrementing on, okay? It means that we're going to have 16 digits in this position over here. So the first one is going to be the zero, and then you'll also have one, two, three, four, five, six, f so this is subnet number one the zero and then the one is the second subnet and then the third subnet till the 16th subnet so our second subnet is going to be 2001 db8 100 zero, zero, colon colon slash 36 our third one is It's two zero zero slash thirty six. The fourth one will be you get the point right. Uh, three 
the last one is going to be the f slash 36 so again the shortcut that we used or the logic behind this is each of the positions we can have up to from 0 to 9 then a to f and we're using this position since we are subnetting from a slash 32 to a slash 36 we need four bits four bits is just one of these positions right so basically from left to right the next position since it's a simple example right so we just need one of the positions and this is what we were looking at that position fits in into the nibble boundary and that's why the increments are clean right so you start from 0 1 2 3 4 up to f let's look at another example we have a slash 32 we want to create two subnets so two subnets how many bits do we need for us to get two subnets so two to the power of what gives us two so essentially this is two to the power of one we need one bit for us to get two subnets right so it means that the resulting prefix will be a slash 33 because you're doing 32 which is the parent prefix plus the one bit to give you the slash 33 okay next thing what is the what are the subnets so the first subnet is going to be you guessed it right as we discussed in the previous section the all zeros slash 33 what about the second subnet so again we come back to our hexadecimal range right hexadecimal digit range remember in the slash 36 because we're using four bits we use the entire range that's all that was our increment right because we needed 16 subnets and we have 16 digits in the hexadecimal range in this case we want two subnets so the hack that you can use is from this range we need to split it into two So we're going to have the zero subnet this will be our subnet number one and our subnet number two is the eight okay so the resulting subnets we have the of course the zero which we discussed and then the second one is going to be two zero zero one db8 the eight eight slash 33 so i hope it makes sense what if we were to split this slash 32 into for example slash 34s from slash 32 to slash 34s these are two bits right we're using two bits 32 to 34 So it means that if you're using two bits, you're going to have four subnets. Because we did two to the power of two. Two to the power of two bits. Let me clean that up. Two to the power of two bits, which gives us four subnet so what are what are these subnets subnet number one 
so if this is your if in this example if you're doing slash 30 falls so subnet number one is the all zeros as usual slash 34 then what are the other three subnets because you said we get four subnets right so if you come back to the hexadecimal range here so for slash 33 because we needed two subnets we split it into two we split the range into two we got the first one which is the zero and then the eight right so for slash 34 we need four subnets right you can guess what we need to do already so for four subnets we need to split this range into four equal parts so the first one is going to be the zero which stops at zero one two three and then the next one is going to be four which stops at seven and then the next one is eight which stops at eight nine a and b then the last one is the c so our subnets we'll have zero as the first one as usual we'll have the four as the second one and then the eight will be our third subnet and then c will be our fourth subnet so if you're to represent the subnets we'll have second subnet 2001 db8 and then it's two it's four four and then four slash 34 and then the third one is going to be db8 eight zero zero slash 34 and then the fourth one is c slash 34 so basically you can use this method that i'm showing you to submit any prefix and you typically you'll do this for any prefix that falls within the nibble boundary so that's the four bits 2 to power 4 16 but of course in ipv6 so don't try to do all this by hand so always use a subnet calculator to help you out finally i have a question for you so why is it the resulting prefixes for example the slash when you split a slash 32 to slash 33s we said we got two slash we saw that we got two slash 33s right the first one was uh, db8 the zeros right slash 33 and then the second one was the is the 8 slash 33 remember we got this from splitting our the hexadecimal range into two because we need two subnets then we got that as the first one then eight as the second one so why is it not let me just use a different color so this in with the second subnet why is it not So why is it not 2001 db8 colon 8 colon colon slash 33 so let me know in the comments section down below that's it and i hope you've learned something new from this video and again if it has been informative don't hesitate to leave a like 
and also comment down below and also subscribe so see you in the next one